Want to find out what's going on in your community? El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Looking for the skills and training you need to get a new career? Call CTC, the Center for Training and Careers, and start working towards that new career today. Call CTC in San Jose. Good evening. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. This evening we have with us Sammy Castillo. Welcome, Sammy. And Sammy mm -hmm. is Shumash and Hopi, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit where your family's from, your history. Oh, pretty much. My family's been here since the 30s, yeah, early 1800s. Um, they didn't have to have papers or anything at that time. We just migrated here and all the Native Americans were hopefully happy at that time. I don't know, I wasn't here, but uh, anyway, they they all got together, and I guess my mom and dad knew each other, and uh, oh, by the way, before I fin you know say any more about my father, I don't know my father that well. I met him only three times. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom was, uh, you know, five children, hard worker, and did the best she could. So that's my background, my, my native culture comes from both of them. And, and your uh, roots are, your mom um, was from Sa uh, Albuquerque or yeah, New Mexico, you said? Yeah, Ruby? and her parents are also from Mexico, and they just uh -huh. all migrated over. And, uh, you know, so I have Hispanic in me, mm -hmm. too. And, um, but uh, most of, mostly Chumash, and that was through my dad's uh, side, and um, it was all around the Santa Barbara coast, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but basically it all, mostly uh, the Chumash were in, um, Paso Robles, California, and then going up towards uh, Santa Barbara and also Northern California up to a point. And, um, you know, they, uh, they didn't have one language. They had several, mm -hmm. and they, but they conversed. They were able to converse with They had different dialects. Uh. Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much my background. And I used to wonder where and why I was and you know my brothers and sisters they were, they weren't uh, very interested in things they were like let's say to be I'm American uh, that's it <laughs> uh, uh, well the European type thing what they mm -hmm. created they went that way and I was the only one I guess in the family that was always questioning things always wondering uh, one of those roots yeah I want to know I'm always asking uh, just curious, uh, very, uh, just, you know, not that people are suspicious, but I'm always wondering, you know, and I've always been that way. I want to know. Uh, and it, when I find something out, I want to help. And you're very creative. Uh, I've, I've seen jewelry you've made, beautiful jewelry. You made this piece that's on the table here. Uh, yeah, that I gave you. Yes, and I really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. But you're very talented, I, very uh, artistic. Yeah, and um, if you could see my work room, uh, there's a lot of projects I start, a lot of projects I don't. And it's sometimes I finish in a year, sometimes in a week. And uh, when I do my best work is when I'm in a rush and i got to do it now. Mm -hmm. That's when I do my best work. Uh, but my mind is always going around and uh, basically... Uh, you know, I love being here because, uh, you know, I'm Native American. I have a lot of brothers and sisters that are different Native American people, too. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the truth has to come out that, you know, we're suffering. They have suffered. Their parents have suffered. Their brothers and sisters have suffered. And a lot of our people are, yeah. are still struggling yes. and still suffering, right. And, and it's all but, you know, disappearing where someone could come out and actually speak about openly about how much they suffered and also no names you know like uh, little turtle red cloud cochise you know uh, geronimo all these people that ha that were chiefs you know that even setting bull that got killed by these own people you know uh, they suffered a lot these are human beings you know, they're no longer with us. 
but in spirit they are, mm -hmm. and they and they've done a lot for for the Native American, no matter who they were, and they should never be forgotten. You know, I, you know, I. It's sad when you hear that they're not teaching yeah. about the proper history in schools, and still to this day aren't. You know, so yeah. the kids don't learn about these these heroes. They only, you know, learn about the ones that the schools tell them are yes, heroes. Yes, yes. Uh, they, you know, there's heroes like, uh, you know, Sitting Bull, of course, they used him, took him to the White House, and and there were some Native Americans, too, that they all, they were promised, okay, you could wear a white man's clothes, you just tell us what you know. I, I know what they've done, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and then there's like, uh, uh, Roman knows he was a, a chief at one time he was a good good leader but he had to give his own life and that's another story and as far as the missions is concerned um, they actually enslaved our people to build these buildings and try to convert them into their own Christianity and they just pour it down them and you know I, I could see visualize that a whole family could be whipped by by something and they were just bleeding, their backs were bleeding and and they had nowhere to go. They had the food they ate and they were enslaved there actually. And they were told, this is the way you are, this is what God said. This is so to me I don't have a God. I have a spirit and my spirit speaks out. <laughs> it just makes me want to cry. Well, you know, that's. Mm -hmm. the, I remember, you know, and, and they still do in school, do mm -hmm. projects on the missions, mm -hmm. go visit the missions, do the murals, the you know, on uh, on, and then they show the Indians just you know they're yeah. building them, you they're know, they're torturing. And then you see, and when I remember going to San Juan Bautista and seeing mm -hmm. the graveyards there, mm -hmm. mass graves, yeah, you know, because everybody they they died from the diseases. They died from working them in the sun and, mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, forcing them to build the missions, you know. Mm -hmm. And in <clears throat> school, all they do is really uh, glamorize the missions, you know. The missions mm -hmm. are glamorous and go do a project on them. And the Indians are just like, well, they, they were there to help build them. It wasn't their choice, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And you know they, they they suffer a lot, but you know uh, this country is <clears throat> supposedly great. Uh, but I always, in back of my mind, they talk about Hitler and what he did, and the mass people he killed. You have Ho Chi Minh, the killing fields. What has this country done? The last one that I could remember is they made they got the Native Americans in uh, Alaska. Had they found oil, and they desecrated everything just for oil. They're still and doing it. Yes, everywhere. And well, and look at Wounded Knee, the mass yeah. grave there. Yes. You know, and I, I, I had the opportunity to visit there this uh, few months ago, and I had never been there before. I had just seen mm -hmm. the pictures, and mm -hmm. and to see the grave, the mass grave, and then we were, to, oh, I think it was said on there, or somebody told us, one of our friends that was there that the, the church, cause there's a church there, a mission there, and it's they gave them last rites the night before the massacre. So mm -hmm. they knew they were gonna be massacred too, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and I go back and I can visualize the cavalry coming over, the soldiers, and uh, there, there was women and children in these tents. You know, we see them in movies today, you know, oh, hey, look, there's a bad idiot, kill him. Uh, what happened to the women and children? They burned down tents. I can I can hear the screams. You know, I I have an ability to hear those things. Uh, sometimes it's so great I could even smell it. You know, and it it doesn't hurt me. It makes me wiser, not angry, but wiser and smarter. And how I could bring things out to the Native American to let them know that. You know what? It's not over. It'll never be over. We have a spirit, everybody, no matter who they are. And this spirit is greater than any man could ever have because he lives inside and he's in all of us. 
And if we don't get together and start speaking out more about Native Americans and the truth and in all the schools, it's never going to happen. But I believe it is. I really, truly believe it is. And that's one of the reasons on this show we would like to feature when we've had tribes from North America to South America, be mm -hmm. America because there weren't borders there, and mm -hmm. these tribes migrated up and down, and they mm -hmm. traded. And so they're all you know, Native peoples, yes. no matter where, what side of the border they're on. So we, we have had people yeah. from both sides of the border, from mm -hmm. all across the country, and they all have similar stories. They might have different languages, different clothes, different mm -hmm. dances, mm -hmm. but they're all Native people. And you see yes. that the similarities, you know, as well as the differences, but we're still one people. And this show tries to really feature all the Native tribes and educate people, Yes, you know, because that's one thing, um, Native people's story really wasn't told. You know, yes. and this and is it, an and opportunity you to know, do also, so. Also, um, you know, the Native American has been here for thousands of years. We're, we're all a family, and we haven't gotten to a point where we get along. We have to. We have to work hard. We have to tell the truth about different areas where people live. And don't look down on them. We worked hard, and we're still working hard. And to me, the American Indian has always been put in the bottom, and they're all but forgotten. But they never will be, as long as it shows like this. And never. W that's true. We have to s support each other. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of people on the reservations, as you know, that are suffering. Oh, you yeah. You know, in the wintertime, um, in this cold and snow, and, and this country is doing fundraisers and telethons for people in other countries and they forget mm. about this country and it gives people the impression that we don't have that kind of poverty here you mm -hmm. know and that the government has created that yeah. poverty yeah I know we, we have a lot of problems here and uh, we we have to work hard like I said and we have we have to let the people out there know but you know the, the, the reason some of this thing is falling behind I feel is that each generation uh, is not being told the truth, but we also have a lot of uh, incoming uh, mm -hmm. people from other countries. And this country, everybody thinks that when you come here, you're gonna do the American dream and everybody's gonna get rich. That's not true. They don't find that out until they're here for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they're put into a mode. Uh, we have to survive. Therefore, the real culture of the people that lived here are slowly getting put behind. And I think that's what's happened. We have to keep speaking out, keep fighting, keep showing people, uh, show them the tools we used, uh, you know, we used to use, the foods we cooked, uh, you know, the mother, fathers, uh, the history of our background, and just keep putting it out there because it's a very important thing. This was the real Americas, not what we are here. Here is just for survival, and it's going into a, another phase of uh, computers, right. you know, technology. Uh, I, I uh, personally, like, you know, I have a vision, uh, and I know a lot of the previous, you know, like Sid and Bull, and a lot of them had visions, and they did well. Well, this is, I feel that I'm not a chief. I, I just have a vision. My vision is that technology has gotten so great that they already profiled each individual, each, each uh, uh, nationality, uh, who has what, where, who could cause problems, who cannot cause problems. They're, they could actually, uh, it's a long story, but I know they have a, a tool that if there's 300 people, they could knock them all down just like that. They're getting ready to disperse crowds because things are changing in the world. But this is a vision, but I have seen some of that already, and it's out here, but they don't let us know. This is me speaking out you know, to the people, wake up, don't believe the paper, don't believe the radio, don't believe the television. These are just objects that are put in place to change your thoughts. Um, 
little kids grow up watching cartoons, those cartoons actually have things in there to change oh, their they mind. Sure They're do. very, very <laughs> creative. Like the cereal in the store. Uh -huh. You know, does it have a toy in it, Mom? You know? They have it so you could buy it. They know how to work it. That's People true. wake up, have an open mind. That's all I ask. Have an open mind and question. And educate your kids. Yes. You know, educate well, your kids. Don't let them, you know, forget where they yeah, came from. Basically, education is something that they can't take away from you. My dad used to always say that to us. Yes. We have to have that. We have to have that. And whoever is out there listening, please, if there's education or if there isn't any education, learn where to find it. And don't be embarrassed if you're, I'll tell you, I didn't finish the 10th grade, but I'll tell you, I am in a place where I don't have to worry about my finances the worst of my life because I've worked hard. Hard work does get you somewhere. That's true. Mm -hmm. you, you told me a little bit about your background and the poverty that your family went through, mm -hmm. that you the experienced, and yet you're one of the biggest supporters financially of mm -hmm. so many of the local organizations, and one be a Native Voice TV. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're always asking people to help us out, help sponsor a show, help with this organization mm -hmm. or that. And you rarely see people come through, and, you're, and I do appreciate that of you, that mm -hmm. you are one that always comes through financially for all the organizations. I know you helped with the uh, memorial in Santa Clara, the mm -hmm. uh, Veterans Memorial there, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of projects People don't know you're, I mean, you're, you're in the community, but you're there just, behind the scenes sponsoring a lot of different activities. And I think it's so important for people to do that. You know, it doesn't take much. You know, a sponsor could be a penny, so what? How does that make together. you feel when you're able to do something? You know, everybody thinks, uh, come on, sponsor. Oh, well, 500, six, you don't need that. Give me a dollar, Whatever give me 50 do. cents. Do you know, if enough people did that, there'd right. be more than enough. But you know, my main objective is humanity. We all are here and we all have to live together. And things have changed, but we can make it better. I we think can. so. So. Well, uh, I do appreciate all the work that you've done in the community and um, good role model. Good role model. Well, you know, when I started, I didn't think of that. I just said to myself, as you recall, I think I, there was, was it uh, chips and chili? <laughs> or what? He's talking about <laughs> yeah, La, yeah. La Raza Roundtable. It's uh, yeah, yeah. an organization, really a good organization that um, works on a lot of issues impacting our community, which is ranges from education to social services, political agenda, agendas, a lot of different things. Mm. And uh, after our meetings, we'd have chips and salsa, and Sammy says, and we'd come right after work, and Sammy says, no, people have to eat. You know, people are hungry. It's like, well, yeah. He goes, I'll pay for all the food. So he's been doing that for about the last two years now. Mm. And I mean, he's just there. I, you're well, always there for whatever the community needs. Well, to be honest with you, I was hungry, and it's 5 o'clock, and I think everybody's about... <laughs> he goes, chips uh, doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, without knowing, uh, more and more people are coming because it's like a snack, you know? <laughs> and, and that snack turned into it, a bigger snack. Exactly, and it was <laughs> so, right after work, so I mean, it was yeah. like, okay, you know, we could sit through this meeting if we eat. <laughs> And, and you know, people are enjoying that. They're enjoying they are. I, they and are. you know, to me, that makes me feel good. And and it also, you, uh, the Rasa Roundtable does very, very good work. It does. And I am glad to do that because they do good work. And that's not throwing your money away. That's making. Something I know you good. came to the meetings for a while, and then you said, "Wait a minute, I want to do this because it's a, yeah. a good organization." Yes. And, and I tell is. everybody that they should go, and it's free. That's right, and it is, and it, yeah. you, you just, um, it's a good way to network and, and really help the community and whatever mm -hmm. your expertise is, whether it's, yeah. you know, education or wh whatever, you know, mm -hmm. health issues, a lot of different issues, and there's a lot of Native people that come because, yeah. of course, it's Native-based, so um, there are a yeah. lot of Native people that come. I know Kapolitonalek is a strong supporter of uh, 
mm -hmm. La Raza Round Table, because La Raza Round Table in turn supports a lot of their annual Mexica New Year's and, and other events, mm -hmm. you know. So we have to work together. The different yeah. organizations, the different native organizations, and that's the only yeah. way we can continue to survive by helping each other. But you know, my, my, my main objective is that uh, I hope there's a lot of Native American people that we could reach out to, uh, not to be embarrassed who you are, what you have, where you live, what you look like. It's what you are inside. Mm -hmm. And if you truly have that, we want to see you. We want to meet you. Come to us. Mm -hmm. You're our brothers and you're our sisters. And we will work together. We will Absolutely. make it better for each other. Absolutely. And mm. just keep educating other people. Exactly. Because uh, we have to tell our own story. Well, you know, just being here, I already have a bigger dream. Maybe we could somehow just make a lot of money and have our own studio. We need our. We need a national. We yes. need to be on national network, right? Yes. <laughs> ABC, yes. NBC, yes. CBS, yes. one of those. Yes. <laughs> I, I would I would love to see that. Someday, and huh? That's our goal. We'll get there. Uh, I don't think someday. I think it should be sooner. Okay, Sammy, <laughs> we'll get right that's on the way I, That's the way I think. So, know. Sammy, you're still working. You yeah. you're, haven't retired yet. What, no. um, what dreams do you have? We have about five minutes left, so we we'll okay. can just wind okay. it up here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what is your vision? What do you hope for the children of the future? Well, our, our kids? basically... Uh, I'm working on something right now that you probably know about, but I'm not going to bring it out right now because it's not concrete yet. Uh, but it's basically education, and um, hopefully when it gets all done, and I'm really hoping really hard and um, that we'll be able to make a, a difference in every city in the United States when I get done with it. Good. And that has to do with education. And college. Oh, good. That's one thing we really need more, yeah. more kids graduating and, from college. And I think that it's going to be a great incentive. Mm -hmm. And if anybody hears it, you heard it first right here. You heard it first and on hope, Native Voice I TV. I just hope it takes off. It, it, when it takes off, I'm going to tell you. Our political leaders can't do it. The president can't do it. Uh, some of the school can't do it. Not that they don't do a good job. But sometimes something happens with someone or somebody that's not affiliated and it takes off and it's and it's for the good and it's because I say again the great spirit is with us and he guides certain people that thinks that they could help out right you know and uh, that's where I come from thank you for being here Sammy it's You're always welcome. a pleasure talking to you and I get so inspired and we get all jazzed up <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> thanks sometimes. for being here. Thanks for sponsoring the yeah. show, too. And if you'd like to sponsor a show with Native Voice TV, contact us. And, you know, we're on Facebook. I keep telling people. I know you're yeah. on Facebook. Just and go on there. What's a couple of bucks, people? Come on, please keep us on TV. That's right, huh? You know? Yeah. yeah I mean, it is important. It it's is a important. great show. It is a great show. And, and you can do what you want to do here. Uh, there's no... Uh, I mean, you know, there's nothing mm. stopping you. No. I mean, no. look at me. I'm, I'm not even uh, groomed into being on here. I, j people, just help us. This is help you're our show. community, and that's help, what we help want. Help the Native be. American people of yeah. anything. Let oh, the people know. You know, <laughs> help the people know. That's right. That's really that's coming right. down, and you know, and I love you guys for having me here. Thank you so much, and I appreciate yeah. you being here. And he's right support Native Voice TV um, and like us on Facebook and you can see pictures we always put pictures on the show if you miss the show if you're not in our area of course you won't know this but someone will tell you could tell your friends um, you could tune in to create TV online and watch it live you can go on demand and see it so there's different ways to watch it doesn't you don't have to be in San Jose you don't have to be in the immediate area you can still see this back east if you log in to mm -hmm. create TV so do that and we'll see you again next week good night
hands for just a little bit. Hell, shame, no fire. It's the curse of the black rain. She won't look out her window. What she wants, hide behind the door. Behind the door on the break. Hey. 